Okay, this is my first Excel instructional video that I've ever done. Um, this is for uh, my spreadsheet, uh, I guess, titled Spreading Costs um, Over Time Dynamically in Different Curves, uh, in a Bell Curve, Declining Curve, Inclining Curve, or maybe just in a Flat Curve, which is just straight across. Um, we'll just go through... Um, well, I guess first, the purpose of this, uh, the reason I made this was uh, for a uh, task through my employer to create a tab in our uh, financial performa for a commercial real estate development that would model um, the costs that are spent um, related to the project uh, over time and being able to adjust those dynamically uh, since performers are updated constantly if them, something changes in the timing or the schedule or the the amount in our estimates we can easily do that and model the costs um, uh, accurately and the way you, the, the, the biggest reason you want to do that is because as you're spending money in a, in a commercial real estate development or any any construction project for that matter uh, there's carry costs associated with that. Usually you don't have enough money to fund the whole thing cash. So you're borrowing money and you're drawing down money on a loan. And as you spend more money, then you are incur paying more interest along the way. So it's important to understand um, how much you're going to be spending each month. So that's what this spreadsheet does. Um, I created it for this spreadsheet for the purpose of selling on uh, Excelville.com. Uh, I know there's a lot of free spreadsheets out there, but uh, the reason I uh, am selling this one, I, I searched high and low for to figure out how to do this. I figured that there was um, that surely someone had figured out how to do this, or I wasn't the first one trying to do this. And if I if I'm not, which is very likely, then uh, it's not out there available. So. Um, so hopefully now now it is, and I'm hoping that this will help someone else along the way. Uh, as I as I said, I am selling it, and um, I just know that uh, when I was when I was creating the spreadsheet along the way, man, I would have I would have gladly paid uh, ten or twenty bucks to uh, to uh, have this have this figured out because um, I spent probably thirty or forty hours figuring this out and getting it to work properly and correctly without any glitches. Um, so let's dive into how it works. I've got this first column, your your items, uh, your, your different uh, line items. I've ended the first two as soft costs and hard costs. Uh, you'll have other costs associated with the project and you can break that out however you want. Um, the, the, one of the main reasons is uh, you know so, soft costs meaning Architects, engineers, attorneys, things that aren't part of the, the building in regards to a construction project. I th I'm pretty sure that this uh, that uh, these formulas will be have uh, will be useful for people in other industries. Um, but I did this uh, in attempts to uh, to model costs in real estate development. So anyway, so hard costs, soft costs, you have different thing, different costs that you'll be uh, modeling and each one needs a line item because they're going to be spending differently. Uh, here's a line item total and um, just as a general rule for the split spreadsheet, uh, all of the numbers in bold blue are the input cells and the cells that you'll be changing to, to alter your results over here. Um, and you can enter them directly in. There's no formulas tied to them. You just type them right in. Uh, any of these black uh, numbers over here, uh, they, there's a formula in them, and they are not meant to be changed. Uh, you got your um, start period and end period. So let's take soft costs. Let's say they're five hundred thousand dollars. You're going to start spending them probably right away. So you, period two maybe, and um, We'll change this to period 11 so you can see it. And uh, so it automatically starts spending this $500,000 in period 2 and ends in period 11. And it's currently set as a declining curve. So 
it takes that five hundred thousand dollars and spreads it evenly in a f in this format and I've created a uh, chart down here basically just for a visit visual aid for this video presentation so you can see how that works um, and you can see as I change the periods um, this this updates down here to to model what's going on here's your 63,000 and it's showing s roughly 63,000 there and it tapers down um, the original formula I did was to model costs on a bell curve because construction costs usually follow a bell curve to in in one way or another um, so here it takes the 500,000 and it spreads it over between periods starting in periods 2 through periods 10 and is relatively flat right now starts 53,000 and gets up to 57 and then back down to your $53,002. But uh, if you want a more dramatic uh, effect, you can grab the, the shapes column here and start adjusting this spinner, and it will dynamically move or, or adjust that bell curve to be more steep. If you want it to be flat, you can adjust it that way. So it's almost, you're almost spinning the same across the board, or if you want to adjust it back you can do it that way. This column right here is the check column. Um, you uh, it basically adds up first first column all the way out here to how far did I go? Period 120. So you could you could do it as far as you want but we'll keep it relatively short for the periods of purpose of the video. So just to make sure the thing is calculating correct, just to give you peace of mind, um, you enter in the you enter in the amount here, and then this adjusts automatically, and then this column is a check, and uh, just to make sure you know that it's actually spreading three hundred thousand dollars and not some other amount, and you can hide that if you want, or unhide it. Um, so again. You do a flat curve, takes that 300,000, spreads it completely evenly. Maybe you say, hey, we're actually going to start in period 1, and we're going to end in period 11, and it will take that 300,000 and spread it evenly over those between periods 1 and 11. Um, so each of these line items, 1 through 5, do the same thing. You can uh, adjust the amounts, and that's it's basically just a repeat. What I did down below is I split out um, these different light items here because uh, the uh, the periods will be um, excuse me the formulas are broken down so that you can see what's going on up here. I have I have pro several nested if then statements uh, in each of these formulas, and if you to try to dig in and see what's going on is really tough. So I split it out. Uh, here's the flat curve formula in this, uh, the bell curve formula, incline and decline, so you can open it up and see what's going on. And of course, the purchase download version is all unlocked. You can see the formulas. Um, that's pretty much how it works. Um, if you have any questions, uh, send me a message in the comments section below. Um, and uh, I guess that's a good way to end it. There with my daughter yelling in the background. Thanks a lot.